this video, we're going to perform different wildcard queries in Google Sheets where the query is driven by a drop-down list with the type of wildcard search we want to perform. So you can see I have an option for starts with, ends with, contains, and the keyword like. So just to show you a quick example of what we're going to create today, I have a data set of orders by the second column client name and I want to perform different wildcard searches on the client name. So if I come over here, type in a search value, I've got West here. If I want to find everything, every client name that contains the word West somewhere, it produces those clients. If I only want to find the clients that start with the word West, you can see it returns only those that start with West. I can change this to ends with if I want to find only the clients that end in the letters LLC, it returns only those clients. So I'm going to begin by inputting a wildcard query manually so you can see what that looks like. And then once I've done that, we'll add our drop down list and then link our query to these two cells here. So we're going to begin with the query function. The first input is the range we want to query on. That is going to be our data set here in columns A through D. The next input is our select statement. That needs to be enclosed in double quotes, and it begins with the keyword select. Now, I want to return all of the columns, so I'm going to say select star to return all of them. We then have the keyword where, because that is our criteria keyword, and our criteria column is column B, the client name column. And I'm just going to begin with the keywords starts with, and we'll use the word green. And that criteria green is text. It needs to be enclosed in single quotes. So we'll end our select statement with a closing double quote. And then our final input is the number of row headers we have in our data set. That is one. And that produces all of the client names that begin with the word green. So now what we want to do is add our drop down list of different search options. So I'm going to click in this cell, go up to data and then data validation. Over to the right, I'm going to click Add Rule. Now it defaults to drop down list, and that is exactly what we want. So all we need to do is add our values. So we're going to have one for starts with. We're going to have an option for ends with. We're going to add two more items. So we're going to have one for contains and one with the keyword like. Click done, close out of this, we have our drop down list. So in our search value, I'll add the word green. Now we're going to link our query to these cells here. So I'm going to get rid of everything here. And what we need to do is come outside of our select statement. So after the closing double quotes, I'm going to use the and symbol to join this to F2. And then another and symbol to join it back to our select statement. So I need to reopen the double quotes. Immediately after that, I need to hit a space because we're going to next link it to our criteria cell. But before we do that, we need to add an opening single quote because this value here in this cell needs to be enclosed in single quotes. So we need to come outside of our select statement again to link it to our next cell. So we need to close this out with a closing double quote. We're going to use an and symbol to join it to this cell. And then another and symbol to join it back to our select statement. So then we reopen our double quote. And immediately after that, we add a closing single quote and then a closing double quote to end our select statement. So I hit enter. That produces the exact 
same thing. So if I change this to something different, like West, you can see it shows everything that begins with the word West. If I change this to contains, it now shows everything that contains the word West anywhere in the name. I can do ends with type LLC, it shows everything that ends in LLC. Now the final thing I wanna show you is this like keyword for a like search. And this is excellent for matching patterns. So I'll just show you one example here. I have a client that contains the word bay and a client that contains the word boy. So let's say I wanted to find the pattern capital B, any letter, and then the letter Y. And anything can come before or after that B and Y. So for a wild card, we'd add a percentage symbol, capital B, and then any single letter would be an underscore, and then the letter Y, and anything can come after that. You can see it returns those two client names because they match that particular pattern. Well, that is all for now. I'll see you in the next one.